So in this short video, we're going to show how to have Monty do a manly walk. And you can see, here's one I did earlier. This is essentially beginning with the um, just plain old vanilla Monty walk, the one I did a couple of days ago, which you should watch before doing this video, because you want to make sure that you start with just a plain walk cycle using Monty. And then we're going to adapt that to give him this kind of um, bow-legged kind of John Wayne walk. So that's what we're going for here is a kind of, um, if I just go to the animation multi-view, uh, go to the perspective window, which, which I've imported this silly kind of Western set um, but uh, and, and given him a cowboy hat. And, you know, you don't have to do any of these things, but it can help because if you're trying to create a kind of character, in this case, it helps to have a little bit of a set going as well. Now, all I've really done to this walk to make Monty feel masculine um, is I've given him a cowboy hat, I've stuck him in a western, and I've given him more up and down in his walk cycle, and I've spread his feet apart and given him more kind of side-to-side -side motion, which sort of replicates the swing of a kind of uh, John Wayne in the shoulders, because in general, uh, if you're going for a, a kind of more uh, masculine walk, you're usually seeing more motion in the shoulders. If you're going for a more feminine walk, there's usually more motion in the um, in the hips. Just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, if I go back to uh, the blog, his today's blog post, uh, Double Bounce Walk with Monty, that if I scroll down and look at some of these resources on um, on character walks, you can see there's a link here to the Biomotion Walker, which is a really helpful biomotion lab um, based in um, Canada, I think. And you can actually, um, you can, you know, various sliders you can use here. The one we're interested in is gender, and there's a slider which will allow you to make this walk feel masculine or feminine. Um, so if you slide it over here, you can see there's m very little motion in the hips there, lots of motion in the shoulders. If I slide it back over to the female side, you can see there's very little motion in the shoulders, much more swing in the hips. Now, Monty doesn't have hips as such, because he's just a green pea with legs. Um, but if I move his feet apart, give him more up and down, give him some side to side motion and give him a hat, we should be in good shape. So I'm going to go back to my basic walk cycle and start from there. That's the one that I animated a couple of days ago. Okay, so we, here we have Monty just walking along, minding his own business. It's just a plain vanilla walk. It's got very little character or personality to it, but hopefully it's, it's looping pretty successfully and doesn't have any major mistakes. So how do we make this look like a kind of blokish, manly walk? Well, the first thing we can do is to um, move the feet so they're wider apart, so that Monty, Monty's going to take bigger steps. So let's just go to the animation view. I've got that saved there in my, I can right click on these little buttons on the left, but if you want to get there yourself, you can go to um, panels, layouts, three pane split top, and then uh, customize your, um, your viewport accordingly. But I hope you already know how to do that in Maya. Now, um, so we want to move these feet apart. So let's grab his left foot and press W for move and translate X. We're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and I'm gonna grab that whole curve and I'm just gonna move it down a little bit so he takes wider steps. And I'm gonna do the same thing with his left foot. Translate. Oh, that's odd. Oh, that's rotate X. Translate X, there we go. Zoom out a little bit and just move that up a little bit. So now Monty's going to take wider, bigger steps. And I can also have more side to side motion here. So we, we had some side to side motion um, on the um, when we did our basic walk, but let's increase that now. It should be an equal distribution on either side. Let's just adjust those. So nice and smooth there we go there we go so already it's starting to feel a bit more blokish that's what we're going for 
Oh, we also want a bit more up and down. Uh, so I'm going to make the downs more down, as it were, and the ups more up. No technical terms here. Oops, again going backwards. There we go. And I might also want a bit of bit more kind of roll. Whoops. Roll there. So if I go, if I press E for um, uh, rotate, and then go down to my rotate Z, there's actually nothing going on there at the moment. So let's up on 13. Let's kind of roll in that way a little bit. And then the opposite, let's go to 29, let's kind of roll in the other way. So we're getting a little bit more shoulder roll. Then press A, and uh, let's get rid of these guys here. And we're going to need to turn on infinity curves for this. So I'm going to drag. So, oh, no, infinity curves are turned on. So what I then need to do to make this work is grab the beginning and the end and just pull those down a little bit to make this sine wave work better. There we go, because you're always looking for a sine wave. Um, is that a sine wave? Kind of. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. Um, a sine wave, if you, wanna, if you want to explore that more, um, go back to the blog and um, go back under the walk uh, resources and you'll see there should be one Da, 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 da. No, there isn't. Oh yeah, there we go. Why walk cycles need sine waves, and that will just um, uh, that will just explain to you the importance of a sine wave equal distribution across a curve, um, which which is generally helpful in when animating walk cycles. So there we go. So now we've got Monty kind of walking from side to side. Um, now we can give him a hat. In in that case, I gave him a cowboy hat. Uh, which I think I found at Turbo Squid. So if we go to Google and type in Turbo, uh, sorry, yeah, Turbo Squid, and go to the 3D models, you'll have to log in and set up an account to make this work. But if I go to Cowboy Hat, we should be able to find one. Uh, sort by lower prices because we're not in a mood to spend a ton of money. Sort by OBJ. Sort by whoops. Sort by FBX, sort by dot ma, dot .ma and MB. Those are the three formats we can use here. And there we go. Any of these hats will do. So you can download any of these guys. They will all serve our purposes. So um, in my case, I want to go to my folder here where I keep all my stuff. UG Animation, Assets, Props. Hats, and there we go. Various hats here. Uh, cowboy hat, that's the one I want. Edit, copy, then go to my projects folder. So, my documents, fire, projects, and then the one I'm working in is not so many here. You will not have anything like this many, but uh, I am. You can see I've done a lot of these things. Monty Walk. 25th of May scenes and then what I can do is I can paste in the hat there we go into my folder and now when I go file import I can should find the cowboy hat there and there it is so I can just import that into the shot and there the cowboy hat appears above Monty as if by magic so now all I have to do is go to frame one. Now everything's messed up a little bit because the cowboy hat has reset our timeline to frame one, whereas actually what we want is 101. Like that. And 133. So this does sometimes happen when you import stuff into Maya. So Um, 
So now what we want to do is go back to frame one and move that hat down. Now the hat's too small, so I'm going to need to make it a little bit bigger. So let's change the size of the hat to 1.2. Oh, hmm, actually, it looks like it's got some. Um, looks like it's already been fiddled with to some degree. I'll tell you what. Let's go to the scale tool, and let's just scale it up like that. There we go. That's about the right size. Now let's move it downwards so it sits nicely on Monty's head. I probably scaled it at some point to make it fit better because we don't. We want to try and avoid too much penetration of the geometry. I can see I've still got some there over there on the right hand side. So there we go. Something like that. And then back to W. Now, um, now once the ha once the hat is sitting safely on Monty's head, I'm going to go ahead and pr press four on my keyboard for wireframe. Then I'm going to zoom in close, make sure I've got the the hat selected. Then holding down the shift key, I select the um, uh, squash and stretch control on Monty, and press P, and that should attach the hat to Monty's head, and it does. Excellent. Good. So if I press 5 again on my keyboard and select the um, grey background, now we've got Monty walking along. And we could also have him lift his feet a bit higher off the ground because it feels that they feel a bit, he feels a bit flat footed there. Let's go to the. Um, Oh, why aren't my keyframes showing up? They're not the stripe. They should be showing up as little stripes down in the. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, for some reason, this is starting at frame one, so it's one to thirty-three. I must have used a different. Um, uh, okay, there we go. Anyway, uh, one to thirty-three. Oh, I see what I've done. Yeah. Okay. Well, never mind. Um, so the cycle's on 1 to 33 on this one, um, using a slightly different one from the last video. Anyway, um, so he's now looping on the spot, and uh, he's walking along, and we could... Yeah, what was I going to do? I was going to bring his foot up higher in the air. So if I go to frame 29, move that foot up a bit, give it a bit of a... A bit more a kind of emphatic a bit like the angry walk where we're just we're just giving him a bit more grr as it were in his walk not that he's angry he's just uh, you know he's John Wayne walking into the bar okay there we go so something like that and then what we could also do is import a uh, set you know if you wanted to go for the Western set um, I have no idea where I got that from, but if I go back to Turbo Squid and type in Saloon or Western, I'm probably going to get something. Oh, there we go, Water Tower. There's going you're going to be able to find that. That could be fun. Free Woodhouse, you know, something like that. That actually looks like a lot better than the one I imported. Um, there we go. There are all kinds of possibilities there that you could use to create a nice set for Monty to uh, stroll around in, walk into a bar, say howdy partner. All right, so there we have it. We have the Monty Manly Walk. And once again, we actually started with the basic walk cycle with Monty. We made a few adjustments to it, not very many, very slight adjustments. And in less than 15 minutes, we've got a completely different personality for Monty.